Hey y'all, Dr. Know-It-All. So back at Star Base again. Didn't realize yesterday, but this is actually public access. So we're going to walk down and take a look at the uh, rocket garden. So we'll get a little bit closer perspective and actually hopefully see uh, how big these things are in real life. So last time we were here, we went, we could see the uh, Starship 15, I think, <laughs> was the one that was there at the time, just before it launched. And you could only get so close to it. And so the exciting part about this is we should be able to get really close. And of course, the booster didn't exist before. So that was, uh, that was not something that was visible. So it'll be very cool. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna try not to get run over by any cars or anything. But um, so you can see the evolution. Also, just uh, not just in terms of the heat tiles, which is the obvious thing, because you've got the black heat tiles on the uh, latest one and partially on the other one. Although I think it's flipped around, so it may actually have more heat tiles on the backside. But the, uh, the quality of the welds and all of that stuff, you can really see the evolution of it as it's gone from, uh, <laughs> from hoppy, which looked like a water tank, to, you know, kind of decent. And I'm not going to try to remember the numbers because I, you know, the numbers are all one after another. But anyway, um, I believe actually the middle one actually is 15. I think that's the one that flew. So if I'm correct about that. And then the latest is, oh gosh, was it 20 that they thought they were going to use, but then they didn't. And now it's, I think, 24 out there. But again, see, I just said the numbers and I said I wasn't going to because somebody's going to call me out on the fact that I'm wrong about them. <laughs> but anyway, the booster is really amazing because you can look up there and see the grid fins. They are monster size. So that guy still has not flown yet. It will be very interesting. <laughs> What's kind of remarkable is thinking about those things on top of each other, and I know they've been stacked before, but obviously I wasn't here when that happened, but these two. So uh, I believe the one on the two ends, I think that's the Starship that was stacked on it. Yeah, well, I mean, that's how they're gonna launch. <laughs> it's pretty crazy. <laughs> so it starts kind of giving you a sense of perspective when you realize just how ridiculously large these things are and the fact that they're on top of each other. So I think that's, I think that's the reason, you know, to come here, because obviously there's a ton of really, really good coverage uh, that covers all of this stuff. There's a uh, cherry picker coming at us. I mean, not coming at us, but that's what the weird noise is. So anyway, I think it's electric, um, but you know, you see really, really good coverage, but there's just no way to get a sense of perspective without actually coming and seeing it yourself. And it's very cool that this is open to the public to come and take a look. And of course, we got pieces of tanks that have been used for testing and stuff. So, I'm not exactly sure how close we can get. It looks like there's a fence that sort of blocks it off, but we'll get pretty close. But I mean, really, like, if you get that, that's just, it's a tank section that they use for testing, like pressure testing and stuff. But it gives you a sense of the scale of this all. <laughs> Because, you know, it's kind of hard to realize that, like, that is the same size as that without getting close to it. Also, as we're getting closer, you can look at the heat tiles and you can see how a lot of experimentation was done on the heat tiles. They are not at all identical. So clearly they're working on trying to figure out which one's which. And by the way, if you haven't caught my video with uh, Scott Walter about the robots in SpaceX and how he thinks that they're putting the heat tiles on, there's, there's like little... Uh, pins that you have to weld into place all over the place, three of them for every single one of those heat tiles. And so he's got an idea of how the robots from one of Tim Dodd's interviews, that how they would be used to like put those things on and then probably human beings would put on the, the tiles themselves. But <laughs> it's pretty remarkable, huh? A lot of SpaceX people coming by. So it looks like, uh, yeah, it looks like we'll have to just wait until these guys get out of the way, but dang. <laughs> You're missing it behind the camera, but misinformation sitting here with a jaw on the ground, just going like, whoa. So big. <laughs> I know, it's ridiculous. <laughs> so we're, you want me to take it? Yeah, you film. Okay. I can't, I can't really zoom in on what I need to see. Okay. And again, sorry, it is obviously, it's a Monday. People are working, so there's activity going on, and we will be very respectful of the private property signs, which are everywhere. But, uh, wow. So, rather impressive. I'm waiting because I want to cross the road, but I don't want to <laughs> get cars in the way. So again, you can just, 
it's a little difficult to see the scale, but as you look at things like normal human size, like trucks and things like that, you can begin to recognize just how ridiculously large these things are. All right, so I, like I said, I think that this is as far as I'm allowed to go. So I'm going to go stand over here, kind of stay out of the way of everything and try to get a little bit closer in on the heat tiles. Cause honestly, in a lot of ways, that's the most interesting part. So yeah, a little bit of flight proven technology there. Not so much, not so much, not so much, but um, very interesting to see just how, oh, there's also really interesting like layers to it. So again, Scott was talking about this too. You can see before that uh, the hexes are cut in half. So they've clearly put them together. So more than likely that's where the robot, like the levels, the, um, the three robots that are stacked on each other, that's about as far as they would be able to go. And so you can see kind of an earlier iteration down here where there's multiple cuts. And then it looks like the top sections as you go up are more and more refined. So there's a, oh gosh, if I knew how many meters each of those hexes was, I could take a guess as to how tall that is. But that looks about right because the idea was that there were three of these robots stacked on each other and you would be able to see uh, that they would, let's see if I can get my finger in here. <laughs> so here to here and then from there up to there. So you can see where the lines are, basically where the hexes are cut. But that should be about three of those robots stacked on each other. And then you would just move the tower up and up and up to get to the top. And then the top is a whole just nightmarish whole different situation. So obviously that's its own beast. So you can see that and you can see on the other one that the same basic idea is done. Although obviously not nearly as clean <laughs> and a lot of arrows and things drawn. So on the back side of this guy, just if you don't know, you, um, it would be just bare metal like this. So this is the, this is the windward side as it's coming in. So it's going to be taking most of the heat and then the, the leeward side back like that will be, uh, just, uh, radiatively cooled essentially <laughs> it's stainless steel. So it does really well with high heat. And then of course, over here on the booster, which is even taller, interestingly in perspective, it doesn't look that much taller. You can see the grid fins way up there. So some of them are spun, but uh, you can also see that they are not oriented at 90 degrees to each other. It's kind of like a shallow X. So these two guys are closer together and then the ones on the opposite side are further away. Well, let's see if I can, uh, the, only, the only engines I can see are these guys. <laughs> Just try to get in between the things in the fence. There we go. That zoomed in pretty far. That's about as far as I can go. But yeah, so you can see the engines there. Looks like they, left most of them on those would be raptor ones so no reason to uh strip them off because they don't use those anymore but yeah you can see just how many of those engine bells can fit in there pretty impressive stuff all right anyway so that's the rocket garden let me see if i can zoom out one more time get us a little bit of a perspective on just how tall these guys are wow i'm zoomed out all the way and i still can't fit it all in there so that's ridiculous pretty cool all right, I hope you enjoyed that. Let me know. Let me know what else you'd like me to find out while I'm here. Talk to you all later. Bye-bye.